Hello YouTube, this is week 6 in Let's Play Hattrick in San Marino with Inter Calvajero. A very good week with a lot of different things happening. Let's start out by having a look at the friendly game which was against Idrissi's FV Rebrugge. No extra training for us this week because uh, Rebrugge was uh, quite a match for us. Uh, quite a lot actually. So no extra training. Idrissi, you should have thought of this. No worries. It was a fun uh, experience to play against one of the regular viewers on this series. So thanks for um, playing against us. Um, this week we have a friendly planned against the main team in Denmark in order to try to get some extra training. Regarding that extra training, let's have a look at some transfers we've made. Shell Danielson, a winger, and he is unpredictable. And hopefully we can uh, get some good progression on the, on him on the back slash wing training spot in the in the friendly games. And the other player we bought was Ricky Keck from Switzerland, and he will be playing in the other 66% training spot because he plays 60 minutes as uh, back and then another 30 minutes in the wing slot provided that we can get extra training in the friendlies. In the youth squad we've had some interesting developments. Let's have a look at the players here and have a look at the best forward performances. Because Agostino De Paoli, which started with the team, we have learned that he's a quick, a quick player. And he's uh, inadequate in scoring. So at some point, it will be interesting to see what his actual max potential is in scoring. Quick forward is nothing to scuff at. We'll be looking at revealing something about scoring very soon for him. That is, of course, because the other youth youth prospect is Revis Giardi. He's uh, axing out at seven in scoring and is inadequate at the moment. That means that we'll have to get about the business regarding our goalkeeper Enzo Bacchiocchi. He has reached solid already but uh, we'll have to see if we if it's even feasible to improve his uh, defending to inadequate all the way given the fact that we will be able to train the forwards and promote them by the age of 17 which will not be possible for Enzo. Let's have a look see a on the coming matches for the youth team. So we have a regular league match this coming morning and then we have a friendly and in the friendly we'll be looking at the potentials for the forwards. Training for the senior team this week was uh, pretty good. Delio Minarelli had us pop from solid to excellent and that was uh, basically it this week. In the league we played Rio Gondo and we won three goals to nothing. Let's have a look at the game here. All pretty solid, no injuries, and uh, a, a pretty standard uh, match for us at this point. So everything we would have wanted from such a game. We do have a little more news from the youth department and it's about this week's youth pool. Let's have a look. Diego Goody. He has the potential of passable in playmaking and he is currently inadequate in winger skill. He is 15 years old and 102 days. We'll be playing him up front to see if he's worth anything as a forward and hopefully we can line him up with the other forward trainees. Lastly, I want to apologize for um, the late episode this week. I was away during the weekend and I wasn't able to record as things actually happened in the universe of Hattrick. There's not much left to say then. Thanks for watching. I'll see you sooner this week with the next episode. Have a great week.